Good morning, everybody. This is Praveen Virabhadrappa from the New Investigators Committee. This is the video cast of Ishcast, the official podcast of the International Society of Hypertension. This morning, we have Dr. Ernesto Schifrin, the incoming president of ISH. Good morning, Professor Schifrin. Good morning, Praveen. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Dr. Schifrin, uh, can you give us some of the main highlights of the Sydney meeting this year? Well, the Sydney meeting showcased some of the uh, cutting-edge science in the field of hypertension. So we've seen uh, data presented on the genetics of hypertension, on mechanisms of hypertension, on diagnosis of hypertension, very importantly, some of the advances in blood pressure measurement and how to evaluate risk associated with high blood pressure, and finally, uh, new treatments for elevated blood pressure that we expect will improve the outcomes of our patients and reduce not only uh, risk associated with elevated blood pressure, but also global cardiovascular risk, because that is what we are all about, reducing the global cardiovascular risk of our hypertensive individuals across the world. Now, are there any was there any important science that was presented, uh, you know, that pops off your head, which has a regional or a global impact? Well, indeed, there was uh, quite a bit of science, and I, I, I wouldn't go into details because uh, the, the field is so vast, stations so numerous, and so many of them at the cutting edge of our knowledge that it would not uh, do justice to the quality of the science to uh, concentrate on one or another, but we learned uh, about birth of new targets, new druggable targets for the control of blood pressure and for the reduction of cardiovascular risk. So I think that this conference uh, really encourages about the future in the field and our potential for improving uh, the welfare of our patients and the quality of life that they can achieve uh, under uh, treatment and with the preventative measures that are being increasingly uh, discovered and developed and hopefully implanted in different healthcare systems across the world so that we can have uh, a better life for hypertensive patients um, across the globe. Thank you, Dr. Schifrin. Uh as the current president, what is your vision for the next two years? Well, I think uh, the internal vision for the uh, next two years for the International Society of Hypertension comprises a number of areas. On the one hand, we have to uh, prepare for our next conference in two years that will take place in Athens. That's a very important activity which takes a lot of time and uh, in order to come up with a program that is as cutting edge and world class as the one presented here in Sydney with the same or more number of advances in the field. Secondly, we uh, are engaged in a number of knowledge transfer activities across the world. Uh, over the last few years, the International Society of Hypertension has expanded its ability to um, transmit the latest and the most uh, practical approaches to diagnosis, prevention and treatment of high blood pressure in all corners of the world. Uh, it has done it in Africa, it has done it in Latin America, it has occurred across the Asia Pacific region. And so we are trying to reach out to all these areas where uh, there may be uh, perhaps less resources to ensure uh, that uh, the educational aspects in hypertension and global cardiovascular risk reduction uh, do reach the uh, practicing physician so that they can apply this latest knowledge in the most practical way appropriate for their uh, level of resources uh, and be able to improve the quality of life of their patients. So that is an extremely important activity. I uh, cannot uh, underline to what degree we are committed as well, and you as a young investigator know this, I hope, uh, to uh, developing and extending our activities uh, associated with the 
young investigator of the International Society of Hypertension. So bringing in new blood, new people into the field uh, who will be able to carry the torch and extend our uh, ability to do research, education, and care uh, delivery uh, across the world is certainly one of our most important missions and is a very critical part of the vision that we have for the International Society of Hypertension for the next two years. Finally, I would say that we're also uh, interested and we'll see to what degree we can achieve this in uh, creating guidelines that the International Society of Hypertension uh, will uh, produce for low and middle income countries. These would be simple guidelines that will be locally adapted to the conditions that the healthcare system allows, but all uh, with the direction of improving the care that is provided and the prevention of cardiovascular disease and improving outcomes and the quality of life of our patients across the globe. Thank you, Dr. Schifrin. Thank you for your time. Until the next podcast, signing off, this is Praveen Virabhadrapa from the New Investigator Committee. Be well, stay strong. Thank you. Thank you.